So let's talk a little bit about setting up Discuss. Discuss is the commenting system that we've used on Article Connect, as you can see here. Now, by default, it's using our Discuss account in the widget. So you're going to want to change this to be your own account so you can moderate comments and set up different discussions and that sort of thing. So to do that, you need to change it in the preset spreadsheet. So here's our preset spreadsheet. And if you look at rows 9 and 10, we have the ability to show and hide Discuss. And then we need to change the Discuss short name. So right now it's using ours, Content Connect, which was actually our original working title for Article Connect. So you need to put your own Discuss short name in there. So let me show you how to do that. First of all, sign up for Discuss if you haven't already. But once you've signed up, log into your account and go to the admin section. Once you've done that, you'll need to create a community initially. So if I go to my site, I have a whole bunch here. I can go new and we can go ahead and create something new. So let's say our website name is article demo, just like that. And our category, let's say news and create. So we've created a whole new discuss community for our article connect widget. So let's get started. You don't need to really worry about this install setup things here. The only thing we're going to do is configure discuss. So let's go to configure discuss on the left. We have some options for color scheme. We could go auto and typeface. Let's do a sans serif typeface. Now it asks us for our website URL. So you can enter your full URL in there and we can click complete setup. So once we've done that, we can configure some more options. So let's go configure our settings. And I'm going to select the new one that I just created. So within the configuration settings for our new community, you'll notice it says here short name. Your website short name is article demo. So that's the short name that we need to copy in to our preset spreadsheet. So we just copy and paste it right there and done. So our discuss is now hooked up properly. And if we navigate to our demo and I refresh the page, we should see our new community down below. And you can see now it says article demo and it's a brand new community. One other thing you're going to want to do within your discuss community is go to the community setting on the left and scroll down to the ability for guest comment. This makes discuss so much more powerful, not having to force people to sign up. So we're going to allow guests to comment and you can change some moderation settings if you want and click save. So there you go. Now you've set up a Discuss community. It's integrated into our Article Connect widget, and you'll never actually need to set up another one again. The widget uses the Discuss API to create different threads for each of your different articles. So you'll only need to set it up once, and you're done. So that's it for Discuss integration. Now let's talk about a few other setup tips for making Article Connect work better for you. I want to talk a little bit about this search option. So we have a simple search option built in that will kind of refine the posts on your page by a keyword. So for example, we could type in a keyword, let's just use along as our word and we type it in search here. And you can see it filters down to that post that uses along in the title. So the search widget is included with the download package. You can see it's in the library here. And all you really need to do to use it is drag it out on the page and you have essentially no settings to change other than the text you want within your search box. So that's it, as simple as can be. One other thing I do want to mention with Article Connect is that when we initially built this widget, we built it for maximum flexibility. But with flexibility comes complexity. So you can pretty much put any type of content you want into this widget, but you'll see that the spreadsheet setup and the ability to copy and paste raw HTML could be too complex for some users. That's a fine line we always struggle with. Do we make the widget extremely flexible but more complex, or do we limit what you can do with it and make it really easy? If you're finding that Article Connect is too complicated or involves too much setup for you to get going, what we can do is kind of tone back what you have access to and we can pre-design looks and layouts for you and give you a much more simplified spreadsheet that has maybe only one or two content columns in that you can revise or your clients can update easily. So we're looking for your feedback and we can't wait to see what you can do with Article Connect. Thanks again for watching and best of luck with this beta widget. Cheers.